It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and if you think your job's stressful, just imagine what it's like for the truck drivers who transport eggs. <laughs> Very nervous. That's actually true. Yeah. Oh, God, is that a speed bump? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, compared to that, we all have it easy. That's yeah. true. Especially in this segment, <laughs> Care or Don't Care, where all my co-hosts just have to say if they care or not after okay. I read a catchy headline. Okay. Here we go. So let's get into your first one. It's never good when TSA stops you and asks, Sir, why is your bag moving? Ooh. Care or don't care? Oh, I care. Yeah, I care. I care. At the Dane County Regional Airport in Madison, Wisconsin, TSA got quite the surprise recently because as they were x-raying people's carry-on bags in the security line, they realized something was moving in one of them. What? So they opened it up and looked inside. Oh, no. And... Sure enough, there was a full-grown golden retriever in there. Oh, a dog? A fit in the bag? A full dog named Sparks. Oh. I mean, I could see maybe like a small cat, but a full-grown golden retriever? Maybe even more unbelievable, the owner claimed they had no idea the dog was in the bag. No. What? Oh, it's just been, it's a backpack, too. Like, you've just been wearing it on your back. He must just have just, no idea. He hopped in there you and know? zipped himself up like he wanted to come on the trip. You know, golden retrievers, super mellow animals that barely ever move. Yeah. <laughs> so, upon closer evaluation, the airline ticket was for the dog, and the person was an emotional support human. Oh. oh makes sense now, now it's yeah. more clear. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But it is funny, because last month, a similar situation occurred in New York at JFK International. When a TSA officer found an orange tabby cat inside someone's what bag, when they yeah. ran it through the x ray scanner, and I again, remember. same situation, owner said they were shocked, had no clue the pet was in their carry on. What if that makes more sense? Maybe. I mean, <laughs> what do people think? They're going to put it through the x ray machine and be like, well, they're going to think it's a stuffy. <laughs> <laughs> because of both of these situations, prepare yourself for travel lines to get even longer. Oh, oh yay. Boo. Let's go to your next one. A man's hands were shaking violently at a local gas station, and this time I wasn't involved. Care or don't care? <laughs> well, I gotta care. Who who was there then? I don't really care. I don't really care either. Oh, sorry, oh. Jeff. I don't know. Well, gas sorry. station news is not as hot as it used to be. <laughs> <We're going laughs> doing it for me today. Mo- moving on. <laughs> Seven year olds, one adult. Pickleballers in stretch pants? Zero. <laughs> oh, care or don't care? I just played pickleball for the first time the other day. I care. Yeah. Right. I heard well, you were bullied on the court. Too. Yeah, by the yeah. old people. Well, n- not sure if you realize this, but maybe Alexis does. There is an all-out <laughs> turf war going on right now between kids and pickleballers. <laughs> pickleball's gotten huge over the last few years, yeah. and experts are saying it's the fastest-growing sport in all of North America. I know celebrities are buying up like professional teams. I didn't know it's But recently, the ugly side just got revealed. Uh Because at a West Village playground in Manhattan, they have a giant blacktop space, you Mm -hmm. know, with the basketball hoops and stuff that always used to be half empty. Except lately, adult pickleball fans have been coming Uh out in droves. Oh, my God. Setting up their portable nets, drawing chalk lines on the ground, which was fine, till it got so crowded, there was no more room for the kids to play anymore. Oh, my God. People who play pickleball are free all day. They don't have to go anywhere. Didn't they kick you off the court with your friends? Yes. Apparently they reserved it for like five hours. So oh, man. that's what's happening. The kickball games got stopped. There was no more shooting hoops. And the kids would actually come over to the pickleball players and say like, hey, we can't run around and do oh, our yeah. fun activities. That's so sad. And the pickleball players would tell them, shove off. We're paddling <laughs> plastic right now. Beat it, kids. <laughs> <laughs> the city saw it firsthand and so the other day, a sign went up saying pickleball is no longer allowed Ooh. on the blacktop. Oh, no. Now that's a war. And there it is. When the adults showed up with their paddles, the kids just <laughs> sat on the blacktop saying, nah, 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 <laughs> you can't play. <laughs> and now who's worried? The roller skaters. Oh. Because the oh, kids what? got together in front of a news reporter and said they're coming for them next. Uh-oh. Ooh. Yeah, they've been taking up lots of space, too. <laughs> they play more fun music, though. I like so the roller skaters. The Cuter people. outfits. But that's where the kids True. are supposed to play hopscotch, so oh. put your blades Uh-oh. away. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if you care about this one. 
Oh, so I ask this question in a bar and I get slapped. Oh. This guy asks it, he becomes world famous. Uh-oh. Care or oh. don't care? I have to care. I, I care. care. It's going to be bad. So this happened in Casper, Wyoming recently, where a bunch of guys were already in town for the National Beard and Mustache Championships. Oh, man, it was going down. <laughs> and okay. Many of them found themselves hanging out at one of the local bars called Gaslight Social. Okay. When one guy named Miller decided to Google world records with beard. Beards. All right. And after an hour or two of drinking, he convinced enough people in that bar by saying, hey, you know, we can all tie our beards together right Ooh. now and break a world record held by the Germans. <laughs> what? what? The what? record is for the longest beard chain. Wait, and it stood awesome. at 62 feet, 6 oh inches long. So they literally like tied their facial hair together. Exactly. And then half hour later, that record tumbled to the ground. Oh. When all the men in the bar had tied their beards together and almost tripled the old record at 150 feet long. Oh my this god! Is amazing! Look at the big. Oh, because they have big crazy. Beards. They have like super long beards that are separated <laughs> into two pieces, like parted down the middle. So cool. So after videos uh-huh. and pictures were taken, and there was a lot of cheering, even more drinking from all the bearded men. Yay. Were they still tied together while drinking? Do they all have to lift their heads up at the same like time? Like a big shot ski that you take. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Giant one. The next morning, they all met up again at the beard mustache championship which took place at the local convention center where Miller finished in 22nd place in the texture Aww. division. Yeah, but texture he goes, division. goes down in history as just being awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, finally, it's time for Jeff's joke of the day, care or don't care. Always yeah. care. What happened when I ate a kid's meal at McDonald's the other day? What? what? Nothing, but his mom sure overreacted. <laughs> <laughs> That was care or don't care. Thank God that train wreck's over, but if you want to hear it, find it on our socials at Brooke and Jeffrey. Woo!